Yes. Benedict, is it true that you worked for Walsh, Omer, and Brom three years ago at the same time as Walter Kenton? That's correct. And at that time, did Walter Kenton know the KS lesions on your face and arms were caused by AIDS? Definitely. I told all the partners. And how did Walter Kenton treat you after you told him you had AIDS? Every time he'd come in contact with me, he'd get this look on his face. I referred to it as the, oh, God, expression. As in, oh, God, here comes that woman with AIDS. Thank you, Miss Benedict. No more questions, Your Honor. Ms. Benedict, how did you contract the AIDS virus? Through a transfusion. I lost a lot of blood giving birth to my second child. So in other words, in your case, there was no behavior on your part which caused you to be infected with the virus. It was something that you were unable to avoid, isn't that correct? I guess. Thank you. But I don't consider myself any different from anyone else with this disease. I'm not guilty. I'm not innocent. I'm just trying to survive. Thank you, Miss Benedict. Uh, no further questions at this time, Your Honor. You may step down, Miss Benedict. Beyond noticing the marks on his face, were there other things about his appearance, uh, Miss Burton, that made you? suspect that Andrew had AIDS? Well, he was getting thinner, and he seemed very tired sometimes. But he was working so hard. Still, I felt something was wrong, and I can't believe that they're trying to pretend that they didn't notice anything. Objection. Please. Just answer the question, please. Have you ever felt discriminated against at Wyant Wheeler? Well, yes. In what way? Well, Mr. Wheeler's secretary, Lydia, said that Mr. Wheeler had a problem with my earrings. Really? Apparently, Mr. Wheeler felt that they were too ethnic, is the word she used. And she told me that he said that he would like it if I wore something a little less garish, a little smaller, and more American. What'd you say? I said my earrings are American. They're African-American. Let's have order, please. Thank you. No more questions. Ms. Burton, weren't you recently promoted? Yes, I'm in charge of the paralegal department. Congratulations on your unfettered ascendancy at Wyatt Wheeler. Well, I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it unfettered. I, mean, I don't understand. How do you explain the promotion of an obviously intelligent, articulate, qualified African-American woman in a firm which practices discrimination as wantonly and consistently as you and Mr. Beckett claim? I can't explain it. Could it be that these instances of discrimination are, in fact, misunderstandings that have been blown completely out of proportion? I think counsel tends to oversimplify the issue somewhat. Well, thank you, Ms. Burton. I'll take that note under consideration. 